However, if you're from Minnesota, that seems like an excessively long way to go just to, you know, get away from winter and warm up. So there better be a game or something. Load up the fan charter. Golden Gophers had two. Big last second win in the Sun Bowl Wednesday. Travel 342 miles to Lubbock for a basketball game at Texas Tech Thursday. And goodness, Texas, a big state, still 700 miles of real estate to the east there. Bob Knight's club, late first half. Texas Tech up 33-19. Jerry's Jackson, he's going to blow the bunny, but Joseph Wartz is there to get it all controlled. Six points, three rebounds. Tech by 12 at the half. Jackson, much better from farther out. He got that one right. 20 points. Tech up 12. Good symmetry there. Later in the second half, Ronald Ross on the break. Andre Emmett get two points for dunking. He had 17. Tech in a route 90-73. The Generals team now 11 and 2 on the year. Visiting Rice, Emeka Okafor, Charlie Villanueva, the two Husky big men helping each other out. Okafor, nice bounce pass to Villanueva, the freshman, 25 points on 10 of 11 shooting. Early second half, Villanueva underneath to Okafor and say hello to a little frat. <laughs> Okafor uh, played his high school ball in the Houston back home. Okafor, that's a no look. Okafor, 27, 13 of 19 shooting. Huskies have won eight in a row. Second half, tied. Will Bynum causes a turnover. And here comes Tech. Jared Jack on the other end. He misses, but Ishmael Muhammad gathers the spill. Give the man two and a top ten nominee. Less than two minutes left. Rashad Wright. Can't get it to go. Chris Daniels, 11 rebounds, 14 points. We're tied. Five seconds left. Still tied. Tech, eight for 28 from three. Clarence Moore. No, we have more basketball to play. Tech down three in OT. Final seconds. Let's do it again. Marvin Lewis, the two-pointer. Off the front of the iron. Rebound. Jack wide open. Three. Got it! Jared Jack with one and a half seconds left. Ties it up. All right. Jack the hero. Now we're going to double overtime. Jonas Hayes. Four of his career high, 25 points in the second overtime. Brother Jarvis there for inspiration. 14 seconds left. Tech now down to Jack. Misses. The layup. Coach Hewitt wanted the foul. Didn't get it. Final seconds. Bulldogs up three. Levi Stoops can't seal the deal. Tech needs a three for a third overtime. B.J. Elder! 83-80. No. Jackets have not won in Athens since 1976. Two winningest programs in college basketball history. Cats hosting Roy Williams, Tubby Smith. Bartender, how about a shot of Kaylina Azabuki? No Jack, but there's an Eric Daniels. 10 zip. Roy Williams pulls his starting five. The bench cures most ailments. Worked. Tar Heels down one after Jawad Williams gets the old fashioned three off the fast break. Then starter Sean May, he goes. Duncan. UNC takes the lead. Melvin Scotty had 16, including three threes in the first half. Carolina up a touchdown. Kentucky shot just eight for 31 in the first half. Tubby Smith's halftime speech was a good one. Daniels finished with 18 points, 10 rebounds. Kentucky down three. Daniels, or should I say, E. Diddy. <laughs> We're tied. You are so hip hop. Cats shoot 55% in the second half. Off the bench, Robbie Moss and the foul. Kentucky up six. Minute left. There was a Raymond Felton, Felton sighting. It's a one point game. But Gerald Fitch, he was a sight to behold. 21 points, including that three with 23 seconds left. Kentucky wins at 61-56, beats UNC for the fourth straight season. Nine Eastern, 13th ranked Kansas travels to Colorado. Big 12 conference opener for both teams. You're home for college basketball, ESPN. To the Grand Canyon State, where Arizona's Grand Poobah, Lute Olson, goes for career win number 700 at not Lute friendly Arizona State. First half, Salim Stoudemire, let there be rock, finished with 26 of the top 10 nominations. Zona led by 16 at the half. Stoudemire made six three pointers, one short of his career high in nine attempts. Said afterwards, the games count now. The game before preseason, I mean, I care, but not too much. Coach Olson not only got his 700 win, he got his grandson into the game. Arizona gets its 17th win in the last 18 meetings with his arch rival. Grandson gets a rebound. 93-74 state. Duke at Clemson. A win would be number 600 as Blue Devils coach for Mike Krzyzewski. First half, Chris Duhon. 10 points for Duhon. Later in the half, Tigers trying to answer. 
Gerard Ford from Vernon Hamilton, two of his 12 to lead Clemson, but the Tigers are down nine and wouldn't get a whole lot closer. Sean Dockery with Hamilton steals the ball at half court. I'll take that, thank you. We're going the other way. This one good for two. Make it three. Coach K has feasted on Clemson 40 and nine versus the Tigers as Duke head coach J.J. Redick opened for three. He had 17. Coach K, 600 and 176 in 24 seasons at Duke. 13th coach in NCAA Division I history to reach that milestone. 90% of its home games in Kelvin Sampson's 10 seasons. Coach going for career win number 400 against visiting Princeton. D'Angelo Alexander, he had 22, part of a 14-3 opening second half run. Jabari Brown has wings. JB from the U.S. Virgin Islands, a la Tim Duncan. Top 10 nominee. Less than 10 seconds. OU and T R O U B L E. Scott Greenman makes it a three point game. Coach Sampson's fellows may be thinking ahead to their next game against Connecticut. Jason Dietrich misses two freebies. Here come the Tigers with a chance to tie it. Ed Persia. OU without a field goal for nearly nine minutes, but still gets the 58 55 win. He just beat their former coach Pete Gillen Saturday in Virginia Monday. A visit from Rick Barnes in Texas. Barnes coached Providence for six years. First half, Edgar Moreno. Friars looking sloppy. The Longhorns race out to a 21-4 lead at the Dunkin' Donuts Center. Brandon Mouton for three. He had 20. Texas up as many as 21. Still first half, Friars trying to stay in it. Tuka Cotti, the rebound, two of his 10. PC's first field goal of the half, 13 and a half minutes in. Later, Ryan Gomes knocks it away, and he will finish. The Friars were down 41-33 at halftime. Second half, PC continues the comeback. Donnie McGrath for three. It's a four-point game. Final three minutes. Gomes open for a heart. A season-high 28 for Gomes. PC within two. 23 seconds left. Bad pass down low, Royale Ivy at a career-high 22. The big three ties it at 74. Final seconds, Providence can win it. McGrath baseline, James Thomas blocks it. Thomas, another block. And Texas rebounds, we're going to overtime. In OT, nine seconds to go, Texas up three. McGrath, oh, he had 13, that tied it at 77. Final seconds, freshman P.J. Tucker off the inbound. Can win it for the Longhorns as time expires. It goes, but does it count? It was definitely at zero, 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 zero when he had the ball in his hand, but then the light came on after that. So I don't know if that's an electrical problem. The light and zero, zero, zero should go on at the same time. They didn't. When they brought me up to show it to me, all they said was, you know, the ball's in his hand at zero, zero, which it was, but I said, but we've got to play the, the light. And if you slow it down and look at it, the, the ball was definitely out of his hand when the red light came on, and that's the basket was good. The referee said it's no good to me. And so I went back to my huddle and started coaching my team. Then there was a four-person negotiation, including Rick Barnes, and the, the call got changed. Big East official Tim Higgins, who was at the game, said in our game, 0-0 doesn't end the game. Game ends with a horn or light. It was clear that the ball beat the light. And then we had some more beating after the game. Texas wins at PC, 79-77. Number 14, Kansas at Colorado for its Big 12 opener. Jayhawks had won 12 straight conference openers. First half, Keith Langford misses. Wayne Simeon doesn't. Simeon, 21 points, 14 rebounds. Jayhawks up 10. Look at Aaron Miles spot Christian Moody. Oh, let's take another look, please. This is a perfect pass to split the defense. It's a top 10 nominee. KU up 13. Later in the second, more miles, and this time he's open for her. Rattles in, he had 12, Jayhawks up 11. Then Miles dishing to J.R. Giddens, who knocks one down. He had 15, and Kansas wins 77-62. Jayhawks win their 13th straight conference open.